All right, YouTube, there are mumblings that Hillary Clinton may be uh, sort of told to run for New York City mayor uh, to replace uh, de Blasio's socialism and bring back sort of the, the good old days of Bloomberg's neoliberalism, I suppose, as big corporate bank scheming. Um, it's unlikely that this will happen. Now, on one hand, she'd be a perfect fit. New York City is a giant sponge. Um, the entire state of New York, despite the fact that a lot of the state people don't even, if they've never been to upstate New York, they probably don't realize this, but a lot of New York State is actually Republican territory. Uh, it's small town and rural communities. It's, you know, the Catskills or whatever. It's very much, it's similar to Vermont or New Hampshire, honestly. It's actually more like northern New England than Massachusetts or some place like that, or certainly like Rhode Island or Connecticut. Now, it actually has, parts of northern New York have more in common with, uh, with this area than much of the rest of New England. So New York City, for quite some time, uh, empowered through Albany as well, has enriched itself on the backs of millions of New Yorkers that, in some cases, never even go to New York City and don't even like New York City and wish that it would split off and become its own independent D.C.-style city-state. Which wouldn't be that bad an idea, uh, ultimately. Let them, uh, let them see if they can balance their budgets without access to a bunch of uh, farm revenue and things like that. I don't think that they could make it work very well under their current model. So you have this high tax zone with astronomical land prices. You try to go and buy a plot in Manhattan. See, get back to me. See if you can actually afford it. I know, uh, why would you want to, though? Why would you even want to be in New York City? I don't know why deal with crime and, and a significant degree of pollution, not like Beijing-style pollution, but for U.S. standards, yeah, certainly quite a few emissions from all those motor vehicles, let's face it. Now, then you can uh, spend hours and hours sitting in traffic in a taxi just to move three blocks, and yeah, or you can walk and maybe get mugged if you go to the bad block or something like that. Now, Hillary Clinton would do a good job. She's rapidly anti-gun. She doesn't have anything in common with rural or small-town America. In fact, looks down on them and calls them bitter rednecks and things like that. So, you know, she'd be in an area, she'd be sheltered from all those little peasants out there that she hates so much and thinks are deplorable. So that'd be good. Now, we could contain her there. She wouldn't have her hands in foreign policy, really. Maybe the uh, mayor of New York City has a little bit of leverage on the public stage simply because the position is, well, you know, I run the largest city in the country, so, you know, you should listen to what I have to say, Giuliani sort of stuff. Um, she'd do a good job because she likes high taxes, she hates guns, and she hates the little people. She likes people that can afford to pay 10000 a month in rent, stuff like that. You know, I, I don't think that the, uh, the outer Bronx <clears throat> would like her very much. She'd certainly be a Manhattan neoliberal, but... She could do it, but I don't think she will, uh, and here's why. She's been a senator and a secretary of state. She's held positions that specifically, in many cases, have to do with foreign policy. They're federal-level positions. It would be a step back for her to actually become the mayor of New York City. Um, however, because she's so egotistical and self-serving, she may do it just for the extra accolade. Um, it'd probably be effortless for her to get elected. She has a lot in common with the kind of political mentality that goes on there. It would be interesting. I think that uh, legacy media outlets will probably push this more heavily than they are right now uh, when it gets down to the wire. They'll probably encourage her to run. Why? Because having Hillary Clinton as the mayor of Trump's hometown would be the perfect setup for juicy headlines for years. It'd give them something to gossip about. Oh, it'd be great for them. Oh, Hillary Clinton now in command of Trump's hometown. Trump vows swift vengeance. Hillary Clinton vows to condemn Trump property. Trump enraged. Trump vows to cut off federal siphon to New York City. Hillary Clinton enraged. It'd be funny. It'd be almost like a Trump and Rosie ordeal or something like that. They'd love it. Uh, so I think they will encourage her. Whether or not she actually runs is a, is a totally different issue, though. And even if she does, there's no guarantee she gets elected. It'd be likely if she actually were the front runner for that position, even once, yeah, she'd probably become the next mayor of New York City. And she's just corrupt enough, just as much an urbanite enough uh, to actually gain that position. She doesn't have to worry about uh, people uh, privately owning firearms in New York City. She doesn't have to worry about 
you know, middle class white people. They've uh, mainly fled the city at this point, other than areas they're gentrifying because they've risen above the middle class. So she could be around. Uh, the groups that she traditionally has used as electoral wedge issues, plus those groups of, of people that are in her own income bracket, which is to say very high, uh, and she could be around the people that she identifies with, I suppose, as well as people that she manipulates and uses for political gain. She'd love it. Uh, she'd, uh, I think she'd have a good time as mayor of New York City. Not to say that she wouldn't still be going to a warmer climates during the winter to make Goldman Sachs speeches you know, for $100,000 a night or something like that. Of course she would. But I think it's more likely that she and Bubba are done in politics. It's more likely that Chelsea Clinton would run for that position. Uh, there's talk that she may run for the Senate. Um, likely. I think it's likely that that will happen. Maybe not this time around, but certainly in the foreseeable future. Uh, I think that it, that will happen. However, I think with Chelsea Clinton, I think uh, the dynastic situation has become dead weight on the Clinton name, just as it has the Bush name. Therefore, I don't think that she would prevail in rising above the Senate any more than Hillary Clinton would be a shoe-in for the mayor's position. It's not clear she could get enough backing behind her uh, to actually establish herself in such a race. I think it's more likely you're going to see another Bloomberg-style character take that. But she certainly... Uh, because she can rely upon corporate donations and banksters backing her, she could definitely raise enough money to run for the position. It's pretty funny you have to raise millions of dollars to become the mayor now at this point. It's not even, we're not talking about the presidency or a Senate run or, you know, you're running for the governor of New York or something like that. We're talking about the mayor of a single city. Yes, the largest city in the United States, one that's been massively overvalued because it gets tens of millions of dollars a year in federal subsidies tens of millions of dollars a year from other New Yorkers. There's a reason why most of New York is not blue. Most of New York is actually controlled by Republicans, and much of it is very rural. A large proportion of New York State is pretty rural. Uh, parts of it look more like Pennsylvania. A lot of it looks actually a lot like Vermont, if you've ever been to upstate New York. Uh, some of the uh, suburban areas uh, north of New York City, they resemble Connecticut or something like that. They don't really resemble New York City. People think of New York, they think of the city before they think of the state. People in the rest of New York have expressed dismay over this uh, for quite some time. Albany is not helping because Albany secures the funds for New York City because people, in order to get elected to that position, have to cater to New York City voters. It's as simple as that. It's a lot more efficient to go hold rallies in New York City you know, where a single week and you're basically done with what you need to do than to spend months going across the rest of New York State. So you show up in Albany, you show up in Rochester, you show up in the, the boroughs of New York City and you're done. It wouldn't make any sense to go to the small town areas. You wouldn't get enough votes anyway. So, uh, yeah, she'd do a good job representing the people uh, that are endemic to New York City. Again, no disrespect to anybody living in New York City who's like subscribed to my channel, but you've got to admit there's some serious problems there. Fiscal problems, there is a problem with crime. It's less than it used to be, but it's still there. Um, <laughs> certainly some social problems going on uh, within New York City. And then you've got the ever-present uh, fact that it's basically the Babylon of the modern age, so to speak. It's basically the, uh, the uh, main city of the world. Yeah, it's not, no longer the largest city, but it's sort of the most iconic, you could say. <clears throat> New York City, and then increasingly uh, maybe Beijing or something like that. Beijing, Moscow, and New York City, there you go. New York City, uh, arguably more important than D.C. itself, and certainly a hell of a lot larger, and a hell of a lot more overrun by, you know, tax and spend individuals. Half of D.C. is, you know, a bunch of flyover state Bible thumpers are the ones representing them in Congress. It's actually a it's, a, it's amusing to watch. <laughs> You've got some, some hayseed for the cornfields gets voted in as a senator and they end up in DC of all places which votes like 90 percent Democrat um, it's like 80 percent minority it's it's majority minority at this point in most parts of DC uh, you know with all the 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 marble columns and the gold gilding and everything else the streets paved with the finest uh, stone and uh, the immaculate parks and so forth it's really it's it's great to see I, I must be a culture shock for people who haven't been there before uh, New York City would be kind of the same way. You've got a lot of these small town sort of farming communities in upstate New York, and they're being represented by a government largely elected by New York City. 
I can see why there's some disconnect there. There's a reason why there's an, an actual legit movement to kick New York City off and make it its own sort of city-state. There's a reason that that's, it's more likely that that will happen than that California will split apart into the six-state solution sort of crap they talk about. That's probably never going to happen, but New York City becoming its own state separate from the rest of New York State? Hell, half the upstate New Yorkers would vote in favor of that. So it could actually happen if there's a concerted effort to get it to happen. Yeah, it probably would. Hillary Clinton probably won't run for that position because he'd be going back a step from being a Secretary of State or a, or a Senator, certainly a presidential candidate, uh, but uh, it is possible. And if she does, she'd have a decent chance of actually winning the position. But it wouldn't be my problem. It'd be a problem for people in New York City. You're the ones who would have to deal with her for years and years. Uh, I don't think that you'd like uh, getting what you paid for. That's about all. Peace out.